Hello and welcome back to another video everybody. It's JP1970 and this week I'm coming to you with a comparison of the new DJI Mini 2 and the Autel Evo 1. Look at the size of these drones. This drone right here, the Autel Evo, measures 8 inches long and then about 4.5 inches wide. Okay, the actual body of the drone. And then the Mini 2 is about five and a half inches long and just three inches wide. Okay, so there we go. This drone weighs in at just under 250 grams. That's 249 grams. Actually, the Mini 2 even weighs a little bit less than that. This one right here comes in at 862 grams or 1.9 pounds. There's definitely quite a substantial weight difference. That puts this guy over three times heavier. Three times heavier than this little guy right here. But as a result, yes, you have to register this one with the FAA. This one you don't. It's kind of nice. Okay, don't have to worry about that. Both of these drones uh, have this. They both have GPS stabilization systems built into the drones. But where they differ is in the remote controls. This is the remote that comes with the Autel Evo. This is a Wi-Fi connection. That's how they communicate from the remote to the drone itself. Uh, whereas this is the new um, OcuSync 2.0 remote. And it has, you know, it's built in as a phone holder there. And the cable's right there so you can connect it quite easily. It's got the, uh, the knobs that come down and screw in. This one is, it's got the phone up above. And then you've got these handles. And then the antennas are not built into the phone part. You actually have to extend them. Okay. Now I've never had a problem with the Wi-Fi on this. And I have flown this about uh, over 3,000 feet out. Uh, across the Pacific Ocean. The next category I want to talk about when comparing these two is this one has up to 30 minute flight time whereas the Mini 2 has a up to 31 minute flight time. So that's pretty darn close. That Having that extra time for either one of these drones is wonderful. It makes a huge difference. You can get up there and really fly around. Now also if you bought the Fly More Combo as I did with both of these drones, you've basically got three batteries total, so that's an hour and a half of flying time, and you just have to swap them out a couple times. The Autel Evo has a maximum speed of 44 miles per hour in sport mode, and the DJI Mini 2 has a maximum speed of 36 miles per hour in sport mode. Either way, that's cooking. That's moving real darn fast with either one of these drones. In terms of sensors, the DJI Mini 2, all it has are these two sensors on the bottom, which help you with stabilization and also landing. There are no forward sensors. There's no rear sensors, no side sensors. So you really have to be careful with this. No obstacle avoidance whatsoever with this drone. Let's talk about the cameras. Okay, both of these uh, operate on a three axis gimbal. So we'll pop the cover off and there is a shot at the three axis gimbal. It's a half inch sensor just like the Autel Evo. Let's pop this, pop the cover off here. Okay, so now we're also dealing with a three axis gimbal up front here which provides greater stabilization, and it's also a half-inch sensor. So, about the same there. Now, what's great about both of these drones is you can shoot in 4K. The Autel Evo will shoot in 4K 60, and the DJI Mini 2 will shoot in 4K 30. So that's something to take into consideration. This one will also shoot in 2.7K at 30 frames per second, whereas the Autel Evo will shoot in 2.7 at 60 frames per second. And this drone will shoot at 1080 at 60 frames per second. But you have to drop all the way down from, from 4K to 1080 to get that 60 frames per second. 
Um, both have a 12 megapixel camera and both have, uh, you know, intelligent flight modes like follow me and orbit and uh, what's the other one they, they call? Um, oh, and that dynamic track where you can put, you can focus it on you and it'll do things around you. However, the DJI Mini 2 does not have follow me mode per se. Again, I think what it really comes down to is what's the right drone? You can still pick up these Autel Evo Flymore combos for about a thousand fifty, or you can get yourself the DJI Mini Two Flymore combo for about six hundred. So, you know that's the difference in cost between these two drones. Is basically you could get another one. You get two of these and one Flymore combo to one of these. So now I guess what it comes down to is how's the quality? What is the video quality? And that's what we're gonna go look at next. Okay, that pretty much concludes today's comparison between the Autel Evo and the DJI Mini 2. Thanks for checking out this video, and uh, stay warm out there, everybody. Until next time, it's JP1970. Take care now. See ya.